Hello! In this episode of Phenolcric Machining, we are making a nut for neighbor. Uh, it is an M30 uh, fine thread nut and uh, it is going to be used in the um, wind turbine as a locking nut uh, for the hub. So, uh, yeah. And uh, of course I don't have uh, uh, the, the tap for that one. So it will be single point threading and uh, it's quite big for my lathe. Uh, I would say in the limits what this lathe can do. So, uh, let's go on with this, this one. Well, uh, and, uh, here is the material for uh, this nut. Uh, it is uh, uh, the resulting uh, 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 diameter for uh, the edges of the nut will be something like 51 millimeters. And uh, this one is Fifty six or seven, depending on which point you measure. <laughs> this is not very, very. Uh, and then uh, the uh, minor diameter of the thread will be thirty eight millimeters, and this one is, well, it's twenty seven. No, uh, uh, sorry, uh, twenty eight millimeters is the correct. Uh, so the, uh, it, it's critical, the center should be quite uh, in the center. I dialed this in as well as I could. Uh, well, uh, hopefully it's good enough. Uh, so my plan here is uh, first uh, do a good surface, uh, face it of course, and after that I will also, uh, also make the outside diameter to the final diameter and also the inside uh, diameter to the final diameter, boring that one. After that I will uh, turn it around so I have good surfaces. This knot uh, is going to be only about uh, 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 10 millimeters thick. Uh, so uh, I, need to, I need to be very... Uh, I am going to use this one uh, for uh, aligning it uh, with the chuck and uh, it will be held only on, on very edge. Uh, and then first I part it, face it and after that I will, uh, will uh, make the threads into there. It's easier when you uh, have nothing there behind uh, to uh, stumble into. So, uh, let's start by facing it. So, this is quite rough stuff, actually we need, what kind of speed do we need, oh wow, it's uh, dangling in the wind, I'm just checking for clearances here, I will set my stop somewhere so I don't uh, break anything, okay, maybe that one is, uh, so when I stop there, so that's an uh, indication for me, don't go on for, from that point. So, now, the <coughs> facing operation. Uh, that's uh, quite simple thing to do, I believe. Wow. This was not a straight cut. Finish is okay. Yeah. Next step. Oh, now we need to install this boring bar. Right. 
drag that one because now it's okay. It's clean all the way. Yeah, it is. I'm dirty as hell. Okay. <coughs> Let's see if I can measure that one with this. Yes, I can. Well, let's see where we are. We are just under under 28 millimeters. And uh, the correct diameter, according to this black book, there we are. 27 point, uh, 28 millimeters is the recommended uh, uh, drill, tap drill. So it's uh, here under 28, was it? Did I say? Yeah. So we are there. That's that's it. That's our minor di diameter. No more boring. out an outer surface. Uh, this one this is pretty easy to do actually. It's, uh, now we just need to know, know how far. Maybe that's far enough. Uh, well, uh, yeah, because I need something to indicate into that's far enough. We only need 10 millimeters for the nut itself. We have plenty of room there. Okay, so let's see. And now again a little bit. This is again a Cermet insert. And uh, it will... They are incredibly tough. If it clears with uh, that, it does. Well, huh. that's uh, ah. We need to take it down to fifty one millimeters. So Last millimeter, I will take, uh, let's first check that it is the last millimeter. It should be 52 now. It is, so the last millimeter. And of course it gets chatter. Another type of chatter. Okay. starting to break the cheeks. Okay. There you are. 52 millimeter, 51 millimeters, sorry. Okay, now I need to, I make a 40, 45 degree angle there for the thread. Yeah. I will do it by using the compound because it's uh, rather large this one really. Uh, Sorry guys if you don't see this. Oh, that was quite deep for the first one. 
Well, apparently I was uh, talking uh, to uh, mute camera. <laughs> so, what I have done here now is that this is now 51 millimeters in diameter. Uh, and I made a 45 degree chamfer here for the thread and then I cleaned up uh, this edge with the file. Uh, this edge will be visible only on the very edges of the nut. But it's still a good idea to do it now. And uh, now what I will do next, I will uh, turn it around, dial it, and then immediately part it. And then face, and uh, do the same operations on the other side, I mean this uh, jumper here, uh, this, uh, and handle this edge. And th after that I will uh, make the threads. Here we go. Uh, I am now, uh, well, uh, I have... Uh, Oh, what I can see here. Oh, okay. Uh, I have uh, dialed it in and uh, used uh, this one under there, two directions, and hammered it uh, straight. So, and it's uh, really uh, in one inside one hundredths of a millimeter. And then I have uh, now placed uh, this uh, uh, carriage so that it is. Uh, Oh, this is loose. We need to tighten everything, otherwise this will this will shatter anyway, I believe. So, I have now uh, placed it so that uh, the, what remains there is about uh, 10 millimeters. And now let's see what kind of uh, shatters we get. And furthermore, uh, this is sitting only on on one, one of those uh, teeth of the chuck, so it's not very tight. Well, it's tight, but it's uh, probably it can uh, uh, cause trouble. So let's see now. What kind of chatter do we get? Okay, look, yeah, there is chatter. In a way, this is an optimal setup for uh, parting a thing like this. Hopefully, by the way, hopefully we have reads on this thing. There should be, but we will see. Oh. Now it feels like, yeah. Okay, well. Wow. Parting operations straight from. <clears throat> uh, now we are going to face this thing. Uh, just ordinary facing. But uh, this time it's a little bit different because I'm using uh, very fine cuts here. Uh, I try to make it. Uh, this is now 10.5 millimeters thick. And our goal was uh, like 10 millimeters. So let's see. Let's first touch. There we go. I lock the carriage. And then I go a little bit back. And then I'm having a dial indicator here. So I can uh, take something like. One tenth of a millimeter. Yes, 
mirror finish. It's a mirror, almost mirror finish. And this is really nice. <laughs> it's, uh, that you could vacuum. Okay, now uh, we do uh, the samphering. I believe that's enough. Okay, and then we need to file it. Wrong direction. Oh, you have to be really careful here. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, okay. That's good. Ready to rock and roll. So, what we have here now is that uh, the compound compound here is in 30 degrees, a little bit less than that. And uh, then uh, we also have here under, we have uh, aligned uh, the tool. The stick out uh, is uh, really important here because uh, I have tried to minimize it. Uh, the uh, geometry of this is such that uh, 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 quite uh, this extends so far out that they will uh, damage my lathe if I go too far there. So therefore I needed to extend this a little bit. I also have here a stop which is uh, not actually stopping. It's just giving me uh, indication that hey you are near uh, to do something stupid. So uh, and uh, Actually, I will be looking into there when I go back. And now the thing here is that uh, when once I connect uh, the uh, half nut, I cannot disconnect it. So everything needs to be done uh, by engine. Uh, oh yeah. So uh, and I'm doing the threads on the back side of this thing here. And uh, well. And then I have an additional feature here is this, uh, this indicator which is uh, measuring the depth of the compound. It's at the moment zero and so is the dial here. Uh, I can uh, uh, do it like this and uh, yeah, uh, there you are. So I'm measuring uh, the uh, depth uh, of uh, this thing. So it should be, uh, well, a little bit more than one millimeter. Uh, uh, because uh, this is now 27.95. <laughs> it is uh, the, the inner diameter. And it, uh, the result should be the major diameter is 30 millimeters. So uh, we have two millimeters from the, from the diameter, meaning one millimeter here. Well, I will put 1.1 uh, 1 .1 there. Okay, uh, so first we need to touch. And oh yeah, and uh, this is something. Wrong direction. I, I'm running this uh, this way. So touching. And you probably noticed that the, this doesn't impact the dial indicator at all. Is this tight? Yeah, everything is tight. There is our touch, and now I zero the dial here. Yep. Yeah, it touches really. Oh, go there. And that moved already. <laughs> this is flimsy, a really flimsy thing that. Okay, let's take uh, two tenths of a millimeter cut. Like that. Some cutting oil there. And now I really connect uh, the half nut and after that I cannot is connected. 
Well, there was our first cut. And then I have to go back. And what's my stop here? Ah! You know what I missed? Uh, luckily this was the first thread which was really shallow. I need to retract this. <laughs> Is that enough? Yes, it is. You always forget something. Let's take another two tenths of a millimeter, like that. Mm -hmm. Well, when do I add oil? Okay, let's see the. I add oil now. Oh, it's Saturn. Okay. That will now do. Okay. Now I will go back to the zero. Like this. Here. And disconnect the nut. Put a little bit more speed. Disconnect the gear. Then I shall remove the bull. It should now even so slightly touch the tops of the trays. Too late to regret now. Yeah, and it cleaned up them uh, really well. Okay, so what we have here is a lot of burr. Uh, okay. I think I need to... Can I use this one for those? Hmm. Well... Yeah, let's try it out. Okay, this works quite nicely, actually. Okay, that's taken care of. And now, ho, oh, hoti hoya. So, let's take it away from the chuck. And there is, of course, burr on the... No, actually, there shouldn't be any burr. Yeah, it's clean. So, I'm not, really not sure whether this is a good thread or not, but the next step will be to uh, mill the flats here. Now, I will do the flats on this one. I already positioned, positioned 
this one so that it's resting on the center groove there. And now uh, uh, the diameter was 51 millimeters, and we are aiming to uh, flats uh, should be 46 millimeters apart. So we need to take 5 millimeters away. Uh, this means uh, 2.5 millimeters uh, for each flat. So let's see. I will first touch here. Okay. That was quite heavy touch. A little bit back, and I believe there we are. Let's see. Zero in the dial. Yeah. Okay. And now uh, it will be 2.5 millimeters. So that's 1.5. And then two millimeters more. One point five. Yeah, one millimeter more. There you go. That should be correct. Okay. We need some outer feet here. First flat. into another position at some time. Okay, and then now we did a, we take it away. Uh, and the next flat because uh, I don't have the uh, I have the dividing head but I have an issue uh, for holding this one. So uh, what I do is I put it there, like that, tighten it just a little bit, was there any, like that, and then I have set this thing to 60 degrees, yeah it is in 60 degrees, and then this is a pro protractor, and then I just put this mm -hmm. Okay, there you are I think there you are <laughs> Maybe you are there uh, Let's tighten it a little bit And then hammer it Just even so gently Hopefully it stays there and doesn't move. Okay, now this one should be already in correct height. So what we do, we just do the thing. Another 60 degrees. Let's take those things out. Uh. 
Uh, okay. Uh, well, uh, where was I? Did I already do the protracting thing? Yeah, that seems to be all right. Uh, did I uh, tighten it? Yeah. Okay. So what I was explaining was that uh, you don't want to accumulate your errors when, when you do this. So, uh, so I use the same flat for reference for both of these, and uh, this way it uh, works. And we still can use the same height. So, which is really good. And now we start doing uh, the opposite sides. Uh, we have three, which are in strange angles. <laughs> no, they should be... <coughs> uh, as you can see, now, now we have... Uh, uh, there should be one here, one there, and the last there. And this is really easy now, because... Well, we need to clean it up anyway. A thing like this... There. So that should uh, do the trick. Yes, it really does. Now it doesn't matter where you are. Okay. And then again, boom in the thing. Almost ready. Be boring. It's very easier to do it uh, uh, right here. But yes, it will leave something to do also on the wise. Yeah, but this one again. Oh yeah, now it came up easier. Okay. And yeah, this is the nut for my neighbor. <laughs> yeah. Well. 
I will take some pictures for you from this. Well, uh, yeah. Well, uh, this one is a showroom thing, I think. Yeah. This still uh, will not harden. Uh, I will do this just to uh, to uh, put a finish on top of that, uh, which uh, will tolerate a little bit uh, elements. Uh, I don't know whether they paint it or anything, but uh, let's see. Uh, this this will uh, certainly this uh, oil here is canola oil. A rape seed oil. And uh, yeah, this will won't harden. Actually, this won't uh, do any changes to it, uh, its, it's structure. Oh, let's put a little bit more. Seems like I can get it a little bit. Because the finish is the better, the hotter it is when you put it in the water. Okay. Let's put it there, like that. Well, this generates a black finish to this one, and uh, it looks really cool. And not a lot of smoke. And uh, the smoke that is coming is really pleasant, uh, like donuts. <laughs> Somebody was making donuts. Yeah, as you can see, it's. Uh, I think this is really, really, really nice. Okay, let it cool down. Uh, well, that's it. So, uh, this was the nut for my neighbor. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, actually this one. Uh, turned out to be really good. Uh, well, uh, the final test will of course uh, be when uh, he puts in place. I have no idea whether it uh, fits there or not. It might be too tight. Mm, well. It's not too loose, that, that I'm sure of, but it might be a little bit tight and that's, uh, well, then just come back and, uh, <coughs> and uh, trace uh, the threads. <laughs> okay, uh, well, uh, I did promise that the next episode, so meaning this episode, should be a microscope. <laughs> well, <laughs> it will be next episode then. Uh, actually, I have done something for that, and uh, the first part will be here very soon. So, till then, see you!